Hello friends this problem is taken from russian maths olympiad and in this case you have two equations and then two unknowns you have to solve for these two unknowns the first equation is you have a q plus b q is equals to 7 and then you have a square plus b square plus a plus b plus ab is equals to 4 so this is the second equation then you have to find all real values of a and b that satisfies these two equations now you see if you see the second equation you have a plus b and you also have another term ab so if you assume a plus b is x and a times b is y then you can write a square plus b square in terms of x and y similarly you can write a q plus b q in terms of x and y and then you will have two equations you can basically plug one equation into the other equation and then you can solve so this is the idea to solve this problem so let us try to solve using this idea so we are saying that a plus b is equals to x and a times b is equals to y so i can write a plus b whole square this is equals to x square and a plus b whole square is nothing but a square plus b square plus 2ab which is equals to x square but ab is equals to y so i can rewrite a square plus b square plus 2y is equals to x square this means a square plus b square is equals to x square minus 2y now we can plug this value of a square plus b square into this equation so this equation is a square plus b square plus ab plus a plus b plus ab is equals to 4 so a square plus b square is x square minus 2 by and a plus b is simply x and a times b is y so this is equals to 4 so this becomes x square plus x so if i simplify this is x square plus x minus y this is equals to 4 so let us call this is equation one or i can write y is equals to x square plus x minus 4 and let's call this as equation 1 now let us consider this quantity that is a q plus b q is equals to 7 so you consider this then you will have a q plus b q is equals to 7 and now i can use the formula for a q plus b q which is equals to a plus b times a square plus b square minus ab this is equals to 7 and a plus b is x so this is x and this is a square plus b square and ab is what ab is y and this is equals to 7 and a square plus b square we already know this value that is x square minus 2 by so this is x square minus 2 by minus by this is equals to 7 this means x into x square minus 3 by is equals to 7 so this is my equation number 2 now we can plug the value of y from equation 1 into equation 2 so if i do that i will have x times x square minus 3 by and the y is x square plus x minus 4 and this is equals to 7 let us simplify a little bit so this will be x times x square minus 3x square Minus three x plus twelve. This is equals to seven. 
So now I can further say that this is x times this will be minus 2x square minus 3x plus 12 this is equals to 7 or I can also multiply x so this becomes minus 3x minus 2x cube minus 3x square plus 12x and let's take minus 7 this side this is equals to 0. If we multiply by a negative sign this becomes 2x cube plus 3x square plus minus 12x plus 7 is equals to 0. So this is a cubic equation. You have to find one root of this equation by heat and trial method. Let us guess at x equals to 1. So if you see x equals to 1, so this becomes 2, this becomes 3, this is minus 12 and this is plus 7. So this is equals to 0 because 7 plus 3 is 10, 10 plus 2 is 12 and minus 12, this is equals to 0. This means I can say x minus 1 is a factor of this equation. So now the cubic equation can be written as x minus 1 times another factor this is equals to 0 and that factor you can find by long division and if you find this will be 2x square plus 5x minus 7 this is the second factor so now I can factorize this term and then I can find all the three roots so this will be x minus 1 times let us say this is 2x square and this is 7x minus 2x minus 7 this is equals to 0. So x minus 1 times if I take these two terms together and these two terms together so 2x I can take common so this is x minus 1 and here I can take 7 common then this is x minus 1 this is equals to 0. So now I can say x minus 1 into x minus 1 and this will be 2x plus 7. This is equals to 0. So we have three possibility. This is 0 or this term is 0 or this term is 0. So this means you can have x equals to 1, x equals to 1 and from the third you will have x equals to minus 7 by 2. So we can have two cases, the first case when x is equals to 1, what will be the value of y? If you remember y and x are related, y is equals to x square plus x minus 4. This was the condition that we have given earlier. So y value will be 1 plus 1 minus 4 that is minus 2. So in this case, you will have x by pair that will be 1 and minus 2. Now the second situation, case 2 that is if x is equals to minus 7 by 2. Now in this case, you will have y is equals to x square plus x minus 4 that is 7 by 2 square that is 49 by 4 minus 7 by 2 minus 4 and if you take LCM this will be 4 and this is 49 minus 14 and minus this is 16 so this is 19 by 4. So in this case x by pair is x is minus 7 by 2 and y is 19 by 4. Now we got the value of x and y but x and y are related to a and b. So if you remember x was a plus b and y was a and b, a times b. So you have to find a and b and you have been given that is a plus b is equals to 1. So this solution. So let us consider this solution. That is 
So, first case let us say the first case what we have. So, in this case we have solution for x by pair is equals to 1 and 2. So, this means x is 1 and x is a plus b. So, a plus b is equals to 1 and by is 2 this means a times b is equals to 2. So, now you have a plus b and you have a times b you can find a minus b. a minus b will be a plus b whole square minus 4 a b and then you have to take a square root of this term. a plus b whole square is simply 1 square and this minus basically this is not 2 this is minus 2. So, this you see this is minus 2. So, this is minus 2. So, this becomes plus 8. So, this will be 8 plus 1 9. So, this is plus minus 3. So, now you know a plus b is 1 and a minus b is equals to plus minus 3. So, you can have two situation when a, a plus b is equals to 1 and a minus b is equals to 3 and the second situation a plus b is equals to 1 and a minus b is equals to minus 3. So, you can solve for a and b in both cases. For example, in this case you will have 2a is equals to 4 this means a is equals to 2 and b is equals to minus 1 and in this case you will have if you add then this term cancels out. So, you will have 2a is equals to minus 2 this means a is equals to minus 1 this means b is equals to 2. So, you have two pairs of solution first is this one and the second is this one. So, this is coming for first case when x y is equals to 1 and minus 2. You have another pair of solution for x and y that is case 2. So, you can have the second case in this case x by pair is minus 7 by 2 and 19 by 4. Same thing you have to do again that is a plus b is equals to x and x is minus 7 by 2 and a b is by by in this case is 19 by 4. You can use the formula a minus b whole square or you can simply write a minus b is equals to plus minus a square root a plus b whole square minus 4 a b. So, if you plug all this you will find in this case this quantity is a negative quantity. Let us solve this plus minus a plus b is how much 7 by 2. So, this becomes 49 by 4 minus 4 times a b that is 19 by 4. So, this is 49 by 4 minus 19. So, this is plus minus 49 minus 76 by 4. So, this quantity is a negative quantity. So, this case in this case a minus b is imaginary. So, a minus b is imaginary. But in the question it is said that you have to find the real roots only, real possible integers only or real solution only. So, from this situation that is from case 2 you are not going to get any real solution. So, in this case you will have only two real solution one is this one and other is this one. So, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you enjoy please share with your friends like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching this video and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.